I know I'd go from rags to riches If you would only say you care To me, this debate shouldn't even have to exist. It only exists because the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, you know that organization that never awarded Hitchcock, Wells, Kubrick, or Marconi, exists. On their own, both films are cinematic achievements that were forced to go through that unfortunate Oscar sweepstakes. For this video, I will try to explain why Dances with Wolves won, and why nobody should let the results of the Oscars affect their judgment of movies. Expectation The American Western was a dying, if not completely dead, genre when dances came out. Ever since the 1960s, only a handful of westerns made a dent at the box office. And when Heaven's Gate bombed, most studios gave up on the genre completely. So when out of nowhere a three-hour western epic hits with the critics and the public, you can't be too surprised that the Academy voted for it. Compare the surprise of dances catching on with audiences versus Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a violent epic showing the corruption and indulgence of man. Where dances shows a man coming back from war, trying to find peace with himself, and peace between two nations. Are you surprised that the Academy would side with such idealistic values? Probably not. Reputation Martin Scorsese is a victim of his own talent. Whenever he was nominated for Best Director, the Academy would say, he'll get it someday, let the other guy have a day in the sun. Going into the awards, Scorsese was a veteran director, but Dances with Wolves, on the other hand, was Kevin Costner's directorial debut. And the Academy Awards always likes a surprise out of nowhere story when they see one, so it shouldn't be shocking that Costner won it. Viewing Experience This is where I might be controversial in saying that when it comes to pure cinema, Dances with Wolves was the bigger accomplishment than Goodfellas. Now, hear me out. Goodfellas is entertaining, but I don't feel any emotional connection to it. The film's quick pace makes it easier to watch, but tougher to be swept up in. Compared to Dance's longer, and some say slower, pace, it actually makes the viewer feel more of a participant in the action, rather than just a viewer. More people will disagree with me on this point than any other, but I welcome the debate. So, what is the big reason why I think Oscar voters chose Dance's over Goodfellas? Well, it has to do with one major difference between the two surprisingly similar films. I mean, think about it. Each film was adapted from an original book. Each had first-person narration. Each had main characters trying to be somebody else. And each showed ways of life that no longer existed. The only difference was the main character's decisions. One experience of violence and wanted to get away from it, where the others saw violence and wanted to be part of it. This is why Kubrick never won the Oscar for Best Director, and why Scorsese had to wait so long for his. Both showed the dark side of man several times and rarely showed humanity's potential, whereas Kevin Costner with Dances with Wolves showed how man can change their ways and live with each other and even love each other. But in the end, this debate only exists because of contrived politics and personal tastes in movies. Each film is great on their own terms and offers different experiences for the viewer. I encourage you to see both when you can so you can be reminded of what real movies look like. Thanks for watching.